Hi, let's see how to create a course in LMS. So first once you are logged in, you can click on courses. And then click on publish a course to create a course. So first you have to give name of the course. I'm just naming it as a test course and then give subject. You can also give a sub subject and then you have to click on the checkbox published 99 LMS. You can also give a class which is optional by clicking on browse course image. You can also give a cover page for the course and then you can click on next. Now you have to click on free and then next. And here you will give the syllabus structure. So here we have to add resources for the courses. So first by clicking on new sub content, you can add content under the course. So first we'll add module one. Since module will be having mark, you have to tick on mark and then give a minimum and maximum mark. I'm giving 10 and then you can click on save. So now you can see module one here under science test course. Now we can click the top edit button of the whole course and change the marks, total marks. It will be default five have to change it okay so now we can add sub content under module one you can click on add sub content and first we'll give introduction or theory or introduction and theory introduction and theory is of no mark so you can click on no mark and click on save so I'm just giving a structure of module one. Next sub content we'll add as assessment, which will have marks. So click on mark and give a minimum mark and maximum and click on save. So next sub content of module one is again notes. It's of no mark. I can click on save. Again, you will give a sub content. You can add as many as content you want. I'm giving reference and then no mark. Click on save. You can add more sub contents like assignments, etc. So this is how we make the basic structure of syllabus. So this is the contents under module one. So we can make a copy by clicking on duplicate syllabus and then click on OK. And you can change the name by clicking on edit and give it as module 2. So the same structure will be duplicated. I'm naming it as module 2 and click on save. So when we open it, we can see the same structure has been duplicated. We can also edit it by clicking on edit and change the marks. Okay, now again we can duplicate and we can change the name as module 3. You can also change the marks if the assessment mark is 15 you can change it into 15 as well okay then click on save so now let's see how to add contents under module one so first we can open it and first we'll add materials for introduction and theory so click on add new material so we'll add resources under introduction theory first you have to go to drive you should upload your slides or what introduction theory is into the drive and then when you click on it, you can see a file option there and then click on publish to web and then click on embed and then change the size into small and then copy the link. Okay. So now we can add a new resource. So first click on add new resource. Click on the add new resource. Now you will have to give a class. So now we are creating a new resource to add under introduction theory. So next we have to select subject and then we can click on add materials and then you have to click on Google slide or embedded PDF. And then you have already copy the link. You have to paste it and then we'll give a title for this resource. So since this is G1 science module one introduction, I'm giving it and then click on save. So you can also add resources directly or you can go to resources and then add from there as well. 
Now, when we click on the resource that is G1 Science M1 intro, we can preview it. We can view it. Okay, so now let's add material for assessment. Now let's add assessment. So first click on add new material and then click on add new resource. We can create a new resource. So first we'll select a class and then subject. And then if there is sub subject, you can select that. And then first we'll add fill in the blanks. So click on fill in the blanks. Now we'll give a title for fill in the blanks. And then we can give question. So we'll type the question. So in fill in the blanks, we need to put the word which is need to be filled in parentheses. So here nose is the word to be filled. So keep nose inside parentheses. So below you can see how the students view it. Okay, now we'll give mark. If it is one mark, give one mark and click on save. Now the resource will be added. So here we can see that fill in the blanks is added. Okay, now we can add another resource. Click on add material and then add a new resource. And then we'll select a class and subject. And then we can click on add material. Now we'll add a match the following question. So click on match the following. And we'll get, give a title for match the following. And then we'll give a description form. I'm giving match the following here. Yeah. And then we'll give the questions. First we'll give a question. So give the corresponding answer of this question near it. So for nose it is smell. So give it accordingly. Now eyes it is C. So we can add more questions by clicking on add. So we have to give correct answer near the question. Give the question here and the answer near to it. If you want to add, click on add another. Okay, so you can add as many as question, then give mark and then click on save. So here you can see max the following is also added. Again, we can add another resource. So click on add material and then click on add new resource. So here, if you have already created resource in resources, you can just select it. So let's see how to select it. You can just select and then click on save. So this is how we add already created resources. Okay, so now let's add another resource. So again, click on add new resource. So we'll select a class and then subject. So I'm going to create a question that is multiple choice question. So you have to click on question. So let's see how to create a multiple choice question. First, give a title name for it. And then you can give a question in the space given. You have, you can type the question or you can upload a question by clicking on click to upload an image on the top. And then click on answer type and change it into objective. And then give options. You can give as many as options you want. So add photo as options. And then you can click on none selected and then give the correct option, which is the answer. So first option is the correct. So give option A. So now then go to marks and give marks for this question and then click on save. So now we have added a multiple choice question in the assessment. We can view it by clicking on it. So you can also view others also by just clicking on, on it. You can view it if it is all right or not. Now next we'll add another resource. 
so again we have to select the class and then subject and then add material we'll add a descriptive question so click on question so again you should name the descriptive question you can type in another language also by clicking on the to type in another language click here link you can type in another language next we can type our question in the space below we can go to answer type which is already descriptive and then go to marks and give mark and then click on save now we can view our descriptive question just have to click on it you can view your question so next we can add notes we can click on add new material near notes so if we have already made note resource just like we did for introduction and theory you just have to search it and then you can select it and add it so you can see it just like you add introduction and theory you can add notes notes can be either slide or document and we can add reference material reference will be videos or slides as well you can add this as we added theory you should add the videos into drive and then you can add it into resource and then add it into course next we have to click on publish to publish this course and then we can click on update course structure for all students if any changes in modules or marks or structure or anything is made you have to click on update course structure and you have to tick on all the three check boxes i'm sorry i missed one check box but you have to make sure you have ticked all the three check boxes and click on save so now this course structure will be updated to every students who has this course assigned okay now let's go to manage published courses and then we can see our courses there you can search your course and then if you want to view the course you can click on view course and here you can view your courses and your course materials everything you can see it in a syllabus structure wise and then again you can go to manage publish courses and you can edit your course by clicking on edit course so here you can make any changes in the course make sure you save it and click on update course structure so as we have seen that we have added course content directly from the course now let's see how to create resources first and then add it into courses so let's go to resource and then select grade and subject and then if you want to create notes and if it is google doc click on google docs and then we'll give a title we should give a title and then we can go to a drive and then select our document and then you have to copy the link in the address bar and then paste it below on the space provided and then click on save so here below you can view it you can also edit it from there as well so here you can see you can preview your notes from here okay now let's see how to add it in the course so we can go back to our course we can go back to courses and then manage published courses we can go to our course and click on menu and edit course then we will go to syllabus so we'll go to module 1 and notes we have already added but we want to change it so we'll delete it click on confirm so we have deleted our old material 
then click on add new material and here we can search our resource by its name we can select it and then click on save so now you have added your notes you can click on it and preview it so likewise you can add all the resources by first going into resource and then add fill in the blanks or match the following or any resources and then add it from here by searching the resources and adding it so this is how we create a course and make changes in it thank you